Hello guys, welcome to 88 Simulation. This is your friend Tony. Today I am going to show you a tutorial, a really short tutorial, on how to fix or solve the problem for the lighting of the Honeycomb Bravo. This is only for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I will try to do another one for X-Plane. And if you like this, just leave me a comment. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Okay, so this should be really simple. Uh, it's only going to be a uh, short step. So the first thing that you want to do is do you want to make sure that the uh, throttle uh, quadron is plugged in correctly. Make sure that your Bravo throttle is plugged in in your computer. That's the first step. The second step is that we are going to uninstall the current Aerosoft Honeycomb uh, software that you have installed in your computer. So that should be really simple as well. We're going to go into your Windows, then we're going to go into Configuration, and then we're going to go to Applications. I'm sorry that my computer is in Spanish, but you should have it in application. If you follow the route, you shouldn't get lost. And then you're going to see all the list of applications that you have in your computer. The first, uh, you're going to find them if you have them by lettering, like I do. It should be really simple. It says Aerosoft Honeycomb MSFS. So what you want to do is you want to uninstall this, okay? We want to uninstall this because this might be updated or let's say might not be up to date. So first we want to do is we want to erase that one. We're not touching the explain right now because we are going to do it on a separate video. So that's the first step. Uh, we should be good to go there. Okay, make sure that the Honeycomb is plugged in and we want to uninstall the current Aerosoft software that we have there. Okay, the uh, second step is that we need to erase a file that's in our Microsoft Flight Simulator file. Now, if you don't know where your files are, uh, make sure to check out my video on how to locate the file for the um, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm going to show you a little quick guide here really quick, but if you have more doubts, make sure to check out that video. Okay, so we're going to go into our Windows. And you can just open uh, Documents, and on the top, you're going to find this PC, or, and make sure to search for your local C drive. So what you want to do is you want to go to your local C drive, and then we're going to go to Users, in this case... My computer says Tony Ochoa. Your computer might have your name, so just hit there. And in here, we want um, we want a file that says uh, app data. If you can see, I'm not able to find it here. So we want to go up here on View, and we want to make sure that all the hidden elements are selected. So we want to put hidden elements. And then this should appear. See, now it's here, App Data. So we're going to go to App Data, and then we're going to go to Local. Once we're in Local, we want to go all the way down into the Packages. All right, Packages. And then we should find a um, Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, file system. It says Microsoft Flight Simulator, and it's going to be really apparent because it's going to say Microsoft Flight Simulator and then it's dash uh, underscore eight weekly. This is the one that we want. So we want to go here. And then once we go here, we're going to go to local cache, okay? And then we're going to find a file that says exe dot xml okay so this is the file that we want to erase exe dot m x m l now make sure not to touch anything else okay don't erase anything else just erase that single file all right and we should be good to go don't touch anything else just erase exe dot xml all right, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to go to uh, Aerosoft's forum page, okay? 
I already saved it. You need to sign in. You need to create an account. If you don't have an account, you're going to need one. So please go ahead and do so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to need to download a file. I already have it downloaded on my computer. And it's called AS Honeycomb underscore MSFS. Okay? I already have it here on my computer. I am going to put you the links of where you can find this files, okay? On the description of my video, so you don't worry about it. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and run this file that says as underscore honeycomb underscore msfs underscore v2100. This is like the most updated one. They might change over the time, but make sure that you always go to honeycomb and search for the latest file there. Okay? So once you do that, we're going to go through the setup wizard, which is really simple. We're going to hit next here. We're going to accept it and then hit next and installed. All right. And that should be all. Once you turn in your Microsoft Flight Simulator, your Microsoft Flight Simulator has link itself to the Honeycomb um bravo software and you should be have a pretty christmas lights on your uh bravo throttle make sure to leave me a comment i hope that you guys like this short video and if you enjoy the tutorial just hit a little you know subscribe and make sure not to miss all our future videos thank you for watching i hope you have a wonderful day today guys god bless take care bye bye